Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome back to Hello Charlotte. Previously, we spent some time with Charles, and then we found out a secret about Felix. Well, time to go to school. If we ever make it there. Second floor, please. It's been a good day. Smash some clones. Ruin years of scientific progress, or maybe a two days, who knows? They probably works really fast. Hmm, if I remember correctly, you can enter the first floor for the shaft without having to use the elevators. Interesting. The Daily Wisdom Machine! Face, milk, eat pain? That makes sense. That makes sense. I mean, I understand it. I, I hope you all. It, it's a multi-level metaphor. Oh boy, school. Hmm, I don't feel like going to class today. Oh! T hey! Miss Wiltshire. Miss Adler. Do you plan on skipping class again? <laughs> no way! You liar. Do you know what happened to Miss Warhol? She isn't coming to school anymore. You do know, don't you? I don't know what you're talking about, Miss Eiler. Aren't you worried about your friend? Eh... Hey. But we're not friends. Huh? You know... <laughs> Henri's my stalker. She was, in one... universe. Well, I gotta go. See you, class rep. Hmm, where did Charles go? Maybe the library? I feel like every Hello Charlotte has like a different focus on oh, who's the other pro tag. So the first game it was one of those they're like gods or whatever, then the eye people. And then the second one, it's the 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 ever student who's kind of a parallel to Charlotte. And this one it seems to be it's Charles? But maybe they're all Charles in the end. Who knows? Not there. Maybe everyone's Charles. Maybe, actually. I wouldn't be surprised. No one there. Third floor. Maybe the rooftop. No, you're in the library. They'll save my game. Oh, so this is where you were hiding. Charles is breathing heavily. His eyes fixate on the floor. A panic attack? Really? I'm sorry. Give me a moment. It's fine. Here, I'll pat your head. Useless C. We sit like this for a while. So, how has, how has your day been, Miss Wiltshire? Been socializing? Well, sort of. By the way, there's something I've noticed. What is it? Charles? You're afraid of Scarlet Eiler. Excuse me, what? No, no. What gave you that idea? Whenever she's here, you're never around. Oh god, it all links together. You're scared shitless. Say, why is that? Stop with the nonsense. I'm not afraid of a little girl. But you are. And I will find out why. Even if it isn't fear, there must be a reason you keep avoiding her. Charles doesn't answer. Well, there's no helping it. I still have some time before the execution hour. I need to ask one of the school about the unusual Link-related activity. Charles knows something, but he isn't telling it. Maybe I can get him to cooperate by force later. So, are you gonna stay here? I think I have a bit of a headache. A lot of things in my mind lately. So I'm gonna rest in the infirmary, if you don't mind. Sure, go on ahead. I'll wander around for a bit. Hmm, deepest lore. I'm feeling that deepest lore right now. Just, I'm, I'm really feeling it. 
Let's see. Oh, I've heard of that someone from your class bought a large amount of link the other day. Scarlet. Talk about desperate. Hmm. Sorry, I don't use link. Square. Check the rooftop. Oh, you came to buy the goods? No way. Come on, I'll give you one dose for free. I'm a big fan. Ah, oh, what an honor. Acquired Link. So has anyone bought a lot of this stuff lately? Yeah. But my mouth is sealed shut. That's our privacy policy. Hmm, we'll see about that. I bring on a small syringe and inject the contents into the boy's neck. Baka! Oops, looks like someone caught the white flu. Stage 1, collapse of brain activity. Just a matter of weeks until stage 2, and absolute obedience. Sorry, no more free stuff. Okay. That was a thing. Hmm. Oh, Charles! Oh, never mind. I fought maybe. Useless to me. I haven't linked with anyone so long. Check the cafeteria. How's the food today? Thank you, I love it. Same dialogues, I believe. Gotta go Sonic fast. Hey, how you doing? How's your day? Useless to me. Someone linked with you against your will? But that's a violation of privacy. Just using Link is a violation of privacy on its own, don't you think? Unusual Link-related cases. I don't know, everyone's using it. Hello. Hello. Hello! Anything going on here? Nope. Bone here. Hey, Charles. Hi. Charles seemed to be sleeping. Use the link. Charles catches my hand with a syringe in it. Mm. Oh, I see how it is. There are more gentle ways to wake up a person, you know. Please do not start me like that, Miss Wiltshire. Ah, slept well, Mr. C. Hmm. If you like joining me, I will restore your SPP a bit. Unnecessary. I have double of all the socialization participants. It's a pointless system anyway. <laughs> ah, is that so? What about the puzzles on this level? Deny, destroy, annihilated. Oh god, story is a disaster. God damn it, Charles. I don't need to do three fetch quests and solve a math problem to open the door. Ah, uh, you may have a point. Miss Wiltshire, an avid hater of puzzle games and class attendance, is always well rested, huh? Then, why not simply keep me company? Or is that not enough of a reason to stay? <laughs> Charles has no friends. It's true. Neither does Charlotte. It's true. Hmm. <laughs> Valid point. Okay, you win. Is... Is this a couple? Some time passes. So, what is it that has been bothering you? Ah, uh, well... How do I say this? I have found out that there's an imposter pretending to be me in the house. Imposter? How is that possible? Wait a minute. Is it in the rules that no one can enter nor leave the house? That's right. These statements stay true. I fear that this entity is no outsider. And it is rather powerful. As I have told you before, I am an observer in this world. I'm not omnipotent. 
I can interfere to a degree, but there's only so much I can do in a borrowed vessels. That entity, however, only pretends to be a bystander. It is fully capable of shape-shifting and manipulating the stories in a way it finds fitting. Any elements that weren't supposed to exist. Like what? Portals to another worlds? Hmm, that could be an example. I got a glimpse of it only once, but... I wonder if it's plotting something malicious. <laughs> Why worry? So what if our world gets wrecked? I am fully aware that you're anticipating the destruction of the house, but please, have some sympathy. My image is on the line here. Yeah, yeah, I totally feel. Image is everything. Here, have a pity kick in the gut. <clears throat> well, then, is it time for you to go home? I don't want to. Why so? Too comfortable? You think too highly of yourself, Charles? Ah. Uh. The tenants hate me. They say they don't. But I know how it actually is. Felix is afraid of me. The Everts act like I don't exist. Only Ida is on my side, but he was brainwashed into it. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, I see. Aren't they supposed to be the friendly unit, so... Friendly? Just what a part of those night cases is friendly? 56 of my deaths in the house were their fault, and only 23 out of those cases were purely accidental. Please don't tell me you're counting that. No, never mind. More importantly, don't you think you brought it upon yourself? All I did was make their life hell. Delete their priceless laboratory data. Destroy their labs, taunt them, break their TVs, get them addicted on soap, taunt them, challenge their opinion in anime. I mean, why would they hate me? Has it occurred to you that you're hurting others? But if I don't pick on them, they'll ignore me altogether. I see, I see. The moment you see others have fun, you resort to destructive behavior because you're not part of it. Am I right? I get up and take my bag. To be entirely honest, I feel like my social battery points just dropped to zero from talking to you. Come on, can we just enjoy a profound discussion? Usually it feels more like a monologue. See you later, Charles. Bye bye. I'll get you that link one of these days. Oh my, look at the hour. I think it's ready for showtime. Please stand by. Please stand by. Please stand by. Please stand by. Me. Ever feel like there's too many people around you? Don't have alone time, feeling sick? Then play an MMORPG! e for solutions has a solution just for you. With Vacuum Cleaner Pro, you can clear large areas free of sentient organic life forms. Even better, VC Pro doesn't work in animals other than Homo sapiens. Was like that vacuum for Rocco's Mar in life. Vacuum Cleaner Pro, we know what's important. Yeah, anti-social butterfly. Welcome to the Execution Hour! <laughs> this program is sponsored and supported by White Society. Or something. Hi everyone! Oh no. Today's episode is special. Meet our special guest, Henrietta Warhol. She can't speak right now, but if she could, I'm pretty sure she'd be greeting you. Hmm. <laughs> Did you know, this Warhol here is a very bad person. Nobody likes her. Ever. Wait, let me read some of our audience's letters aloud. I knew I was right to hate on me from the start. Anonymous. 
It's hard to sympathize with her tragic backstory when Wiltshire lover 34, age 16. Wow, she can go. Anonymous. Sorry, Henri. I have no other choice. Henri sobs and sniffles, crying for help. Hush, hush, it's gonna be okay. Well then, what are we going to do to her? It was you all who voted for her persecution, after all. Everyone, start voting now. Brainwash- show backstory. Brainwash into a bare character. Write a fanfic where she- what? Kill gruesomely. Hmm, this seems like a fate worse than death. Three, two, one. Well, well, let's- whoa! Looks like everyone wants you to. Oh? Hey, 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 this area's off limits. Boo, this show sucks. <sighs> Miss Warhol, get out of here. You really have to stab me again. <sighs> My deepest apologies. We're stopping the broadcast. This shit show ends now. I want to see who won. 646 days until the trial. Oh, well, we're back in Charles. How you doing? Let's see. Charlotte. Hey, I bought tickets to that new thriller. Hey, Lee? Oh, really? Gross. KYS. That's better. I bet the movie sucks. Yeah, it should be hilarious. Roasting Central Time. Always up for some roasting. Right? Now you're the one being gross. Meet me in front of the feeder at 4 p.m. We'll visit the photo booth, too. You photos. Got it. That movie was actually pretty good. Pfft. I can't believe you liked that. It was a train wreck at best. You just liked the romance subplot, didn't you? Hell no. Bingo. Jeez. By the way, I've heard it was a cafe that got super popular with couples. You're going there, right? Sure. Anywhere you'd like. You're doing this out and you prank about your friends later, aren't you? Welcome to the Mademoiselle Cafe. There's special offer for couples. Then we'll gladly take up on one. I. Here, your order. Mint tea and two parfaits. Mmm. Looks delicious. Kachink goes the phone shutter. Are you going to eat at all? Sure, sure. Hmm, 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 hmm. What filter should Henri use? I'm digging in. Jeez, don't start eating without me. Henri hits my forehead with the side of her hand. Ow. Aren't couples supposed to be affectionate? As long as you don't act like a prick. Yeah, yeah, right. Henri's just using me to maintain her social status. I briefly wonder how it is not obvious to her that nobody really cares. Yet, I enjoy our time together. Even though I know our play-pretend relationship will shatter as soon as high school ends. Then we'll throw away each other like used napkins. I mean, you're high school students. These stuff doesn't even last anyways. Are we visiting mother? No. Booting up that PC. Wait a minute. Oh, crap. No more pills left. Writing that worthless fanfic again. Uh, it's not a fanfic, and it isn't worthless, Scarlet. It's illogical and pointless. You aren't even sure where you're taking the plot. 
Moreover, the cast is boring and repetitive, minus the main character. Who's mentally disabled anyway? Hey! Don't insult my daughter. There's no concept of free will in this story to begin with. You're just a self-insert for the game maker at this point. I didn't know where to take Hello Charlotte, but into a medic direction. All the characters were controlled by the parasite. That's just you making up excuses for a failure of coherent storytelling. Ah, it was so annoying for a topo. Listen, even C complimented me. He's just being polite. And you know it. Charles, you're losing focus. You'll never pass the entrance exams if you keep doing unnecessary things like these. Say, are you giving up? Don't you want to become a doctor for mother's sake? Yes. Yes, I do. Very well. Now close that program. Do the cleaning and start studying for your tests. You know what will happen if you don't. Fine, fine. I know. Oh, a message from C. He's been acting weird lately, so... Give me another five minutes, will you? Ah. Uh, five minutes only. I'm counting. Thank you, Counting Tulpa. See? I'll be leaving to the Heavenly Kingdom soon. I feel my blood go cold. Are you sure? Yes. It's my final decision. I see. I'm sorry. I can't find the words to say. It's understandable. I'm sorry for burning you like this. Are you scared? If you are, I will be there for you. This actually explains the second game now, I guess. I'm your number one fan, remember? Two minutes left. Hold it. It's urgent. Will you really come? I will. Trust me. It'll be the first and last time we meet in person, huh? Looks like it. I'm sorry. Don't be, Vat Pat. Uh, thank you. For understanding. It means a lot. Don't mention it. Have a good night's sleep. Evil Prince. Good night, Charlotte. Wait. Scarlet presses the off button. W hey! Time's up. Open your textbooks. This isn't the time for it. See, he, he... He's going to... Oh god. He's going to die. You live on the third floor. I wonder how long it'll take for you to recover after the fall. You wouldn't dare. Oh, but I would. You haven't even seen him in person. You have no clue what this person is like. Shut up. I'm not listening to you anymore. <sighs> you never learn, huh? Scarlet drags me to the window. What? This Tulpa's a little too physical. Her grip is strong. Apologize right now, and do what you're told. I'm counting to ten. One. Two. Three. If I fall now, I won't be able to see him. Four. Five. Six. I have to see him. I have to follow the schedule. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? I... I won't do this again. Please let me meet him. Good. Now go and do what you're told. Don't worry about a thing. I won't let you become a good for nothing. You'll pass a trial of flying colors. What? Her words are a array of meaningless letters. I slide down the wall, breathing heavily. <sighs> That evening, I couldn't study at all. I need to check up on Mother. Mother? Mother, there's twists coming out. All sorts of lore that explains certain things in the game. Are you okay? Mother. The weather is good today. I feel like going for a walk. I'm sorry. I don't feel like getting up. It's okay. 
You don't have to force yourself. Um, I'm really sorry. Don't worry about it. How are you feeling? I'm fine. It's just that I'm afraid of getting up, or doing anything for that matter. Is there a specific reason for it? Not really. I just start panicking, and suddenly feel tired like never before. I see. Shouldn't the pills help? We run out of them, remember? I set up for an appointment, but you know how our health care system works. Just a month more to wait. Wish it came sooner. Right. Right. I'm glad you understand. It's okay, mother. I'll study hard and become a doctor. Then you won't have to worry about anything. Don't push yourself too much, dear. Mm. Be a good girl. Okay. I wake up, unable to move my limbs. Oh, you're awake. Ah, uh, ah! Uh, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts! Well, of course. I stabbed you and threw you out the window. Yeah, see, the little parallels in life. One would expect to have at least a few bones broken. The height wasn't great enough to kill you anyways. Eiler, what the hell? Hey, mind your manners. Scarlet kicks my broken leg, causing me to arch my back in pain. Ugh. Why are you doing this? Hmm, why is it, I wonder? Maybe it's because I'm sick of you hurting others. Maybe it's because there's no one else left to punish you for your deeds. No, really. We're playing heroes and villains now. Hey, know your place. If you hurt Miss Warhol ever again, I'll break more than your legs. Oh, so she's the victim now? Alright, alright, I'll shut up. But what in the world? You want to achieve by showing me all this. Don't feel so entitled. This show isn't for you at all. Scarlet looks at you. Hello. Thank you for your attention. As you may have noticed, I'm aware of your presence in this world. Hi, how you doing? By now, you should be aware that Miss Wiltshire has been terrorizing the whole floor for a long time. Shut it, Idler. You don't know anything about this world, or the person you're talking to. Just who are you protecting? A bunch of NPCs whose only line is a laugh track? Shh. You are in no condition to speak. Why don't we beat you back into shape? So Scarlet and crushes my head with a bat. With that done, we can have some privacy. You see, I have the most vivid memories of the true realm. So by using Link and getting to do Wiltshire, I can show you the truth of this world. That's what you're here for, right? Just wait a little more. I'll show you everything. Yeah, it was Scarlet. Scarlet turns to Charlotte's corpse. God, what am I even doing? This makes you no better than Wiltshire herself. But, I can't protect anyone if I play by the rules. Well then, I'm gonna need this eye. Now, it is the eye, eye exactly what you need? Slept well. Charles? Thank God. Oh my. Did the world end? You're happy to see me. Well, yeah. Sort of. How did I end up in the infirmary? I found you lying unconscious in the garden. So I carried you here. What happened? Nothing much. Eiler wants to ruin my show. And she's upset with murdering me. Just like everyone in this godforsaken place. Is that so? This is... strange. Why? How is she any different from the Tulpa that tormented you? So you know about that. Wait, even Charles is surprised. Wait. How do you know about that? She was the one who linked with me. We'll talk about this later, okay? Just assume that I know about your past, and give me the answer to my question for now. Just how is she any different? You see, 
This world Scarlet Isler is based on my imaginary construct of her. She's the sister I wanted to have, not the reflection of my own self that I want to disappear. She isn't supposed to be hostile. I can't fathom what could be driving her. Ah, uh, how can you be so sure? You have so many awful memories of her, and you expect her to be reborn as a sane person? Ah, uh, whatever. I'm sick of this. Is this all symbolic for a story, or is this story basically Cool World? And Charles is like the, the cartoonist guy, or Brad Pitt. I'll just use Mother's power and sort her out myself. Please try to refrain from doing that. I told you about the consequences, didn't I? Once you get your wish granted, your story will end immediately. Yeah, yeah, it's like a one-time use cheat code and with hazardous consequences. Don't tell me what to do, okay? Besides, right now I just want to go home and sleep. Do you need me to accompany you? Nah, you talk too much. I do. Ugh. Oh. Plus, it's a new bunny anyway. I can move properly this time around. Please remember that you shouldn't abuse this too. Yeah, yeah, take care. I'm home. To Daima? Aiden? Anyone? Oh well. Bedtime. Is it a trap? My educational program at school began. On Monday, I get laughed up in class. On Tuesday, my bag got stolen. On Wednesday, I got dumped into a toilet. On Thursday, I got assaulted in the changing room. On Friday, I was made to eat dirt. On Saturday, I decided I will not give in. I will not become a victim. I will not get soaked in ugly colors. I will not become tainted. No matter what it takes, I will stay pure white. <laughs>